Mic test. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to see who will win in GTGF Scream Down. But before we start, let's go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see who will win in Girl to Girl Fight Scream Down. So without further ado, let's go ahead with the commercial. I say Fiji on my wrist, ooh, boy, water, on a bitch. What's going on guys, RG Animations and welcome back to a new video. So, this is a, a commercial. Uh, so, we have a story of two girls on our class uh, fight over a door and how me and, and the six of my classmates got detention. So, let's go back to the fight. Welcome back to GTGF Scream Down. So on the left corner, she is the pretty and the bold and the friendly Ayala. And in the right corner, she is hot K lover and white Astrid. So let's get to their background personas. So Ayala is the most enthusiastic person and the friendly girl on our class. Right now, CP3 and Ayala ha are having this thing, proud of them, and she would sometimes shout out, shout out or scream while crying if provoked. Overall, she has a finishing move to knock someone out cause some of our role plays and short films, she would be sometimes uh, acting as the, the crazy person in some of our films. And let's get to Astrid. So Astrid uh, is a very white girl on our class, like she is into K-pop in our whole junior years, still up to this date so when provoked she would release a stinging ringing bells when shouted on an opponent. When crying, well, she rarely cries even Ayala so, when, e when even provoked more, she would emit a sound of an atomic bomb in Hiroshima or she rarely has a backup of a crazy loud K-pop fan girl. So again before we get started I all wanted to know this is was in 7th grade and all of the girls here in this video are uh, I changed their names and we are very chill for a very long time so let's get to the video. So let's get back to the show, so here comes the opponents. Ayala was minding her business doing whatever we are doing in grade 7 because I have my memories in a rotten VHS. While Astrid is on her table doing stuff too and we 7 bros while this isn't happening, we are still watching GTA San Andreas. Uh, so a few moments later, Ayala just got out and got into the class and was complaining about the door. And all of our classmates are watching this fight going down. Ayala hits on Astrid with a provoking shout, giving a punch to Astrid while Astrid dodges a little bit of the word, hitting a jab of insults and shouting into Ayala while this goes down. The bros are laughing a little because CJ was on fire while being chased by the police and getting smashed by three police cars. So this goes down to the second round out of third. So things are now stirring as the two opponents hit the high note. Ayala goes being a little crazy and hits Asri with an uppercut with an uppercut of crazy voice and scream and this all happened on the second round and as we didn't have a comeback until the third round the bros are now getting out of control of clapping and getting scolded a little by the other classmates because CP3 is slipping on the chair because back then CP3 is big so down to the final round after Ayala drops the bars the bars to the highest of the door insults, Astrid comes with the comeback of dropping World War II around the whole world. Instead of dropping atomic bombs or having a stinging backup of K-pop lovers, Astrid broke the sound barrier which makes all the bombs of the earth exploded and shattering the universe until it became shattered glass. Ayala just dodged the finishing move because they are already fired up and immune to all types of damage. Holy cow, the pro slap pile! CP3 just slipped out of the chair and creates a big sound of a flop on the ground. The pro slaps wild! But what's this? A Karen teacher 
is just walking into the room. I cannot believe what we are seeing here, folks. A caring teacher, the type of let me speak to your manager, soccer mom type, rushes in and creates the biggest, loudest scream in the decade. She just screamed that the other rooms hear her voice of the Karen and says why are you guys laughing? You guys are uncivilized people and this is what computer games and technology do to you. Huh? So you guys go to detention or I'll gonna do some terrifying stuff in here. Disgusting! And after the effect of the crowds is just a jaw opening experience. Oh. And the seven bros got an hour of detention for a mistaken identity of laughing. And after a few hours, it's English class now and we, we are going to commercial and I will see you soon guys. Be awesome. So um, after that screen fest, uh, we got sat down in English class and like everything was normal but it was not like that me, the seven bros, want justice. The, they thought the we are laughing at the girls. No, we are laughing because CP3 just made a flop sound on the floor and can't get up like that like a turtle and i can't get up so thank you guys for watching i know this is a little bit different uh, from the rest of my videos uh, the girls here in this video uh, i changed their names and yeah we are cool now so thank you guys for watching it's been two weeks uh, i got like 13 subscribers uh, thank you guys for that and thank you guys for the, for the support man guys it means so much and Speaking of support, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at RG Animations. Link below, comment down of what you think of this video, leave a like, and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Be awesome. Peace. Well, I, I knew a boy who could outline a shape in a second that's display was eclectic in a way that was second to none. He had a hand that swam like fish in the seas, and a pin stroke that bring any critic to his knees. It was beautiful, flowing like the blood inside my arteries. He painted hearts as targets and was practicing his archery. Master in the artistry, he carried in his chest until at best it was a godsend, and worst was a part of me till suddenly things began to seem different. Moods dissipated into blue and gray pigments.